Hey everybody, Shadow Slick here, made an S rank video for all challenges for In Space We Brawl. Not sure what game I'll be doing next for a trophy guide, but feel free to leave me a comment and I'll definitely take your suggestions to heart. I'll put up a poll here too, see how it goes. But uh, I put timestamps at the bottom, so check those out. And without further ado, let's get going. Alright, so for this video I'm going to be showing you all 21 challenges with uh, S ranks in all of them. So let's start with drive test number 1. I'm just going to be skipping through the text for the most part. This game is very weird. Uh, and this first challenge is pretty straightforward. You're just driving. It's pretty hard to screw up, really. Uh, so you're probably not going to need help with this one. You just gotta try to figure out where it's gonna be and then drive straight there. Challenges. That's S rank. I want to challenge two. Oh no, alright. How do we do? Alright, we'll take it. On to challenge 3, raise shield. Raise your shield with L1 if you have the PlayStation. Not too sure what consoles this is released on, or Steam, or whatever, but, uh... A lot of this is just knowing where the waypoints are in advance. I don't even have to put my shield on, really. S rank. On to drive test number two, challenge four. A lot of this is knowing where everything is going to appear and making sure you never have a full boost meter because then you're not taking full advantage of it. And let's do it again. How do we do? Challenges. S rank. On to challenge five, asteroid hater. Get ready to use your L2 on these guys. I had them, I've sent up to the opposite angle that they were coming so I could just slow them down. I think that's the easiest way to do this. Though, could be mistaken. Uh, 
Avengers. Let's rank. On to Alien Encounter, Challenge 6. You want to be in the middle for this. Even though it says stand still, you're going to be drifting. And that worked out perfectly because it's in the bottom left. And now you need to survive for 15 seconds. So I want to be in the bottom right corner when this is over. And we're out. And there's another S rank. Time for challenge 7, offense is the best defense. For this you want to be hitting bullets with your R2. Alright, so you just gotta get lucky. Eventually you'll get it. And that should be an S rank. Seven seconds, S rank. On to drive test number three, challenge eight. You still have access to your boost right now, so you can use your boost to get to the waypoint. And now you're going to get hit, and then you're going to want to grab the repair kit. This first storm, you just have to dodge asteroids. They're uh, very easy to dodge for this first storm. This one is a bit harder. Now you just want to get back to the middle and get out. Challenges. And there's your S rank. Let's do challenge 9 Hawkeye. This one is about L2 and aiming at asteroids quickly. So now you have to do a wraparound shot. S rank, 5 seconds. We're going to be doing a challenge 10, push and drop. You have to push these blue things into certain destinations. That's easy enough. Next you have to push it all the way there, but through an asteroid belt. And then we have to do it through a turret. And you can use boost there to help out. And there's your S rank for 15 seconds. Challenge 11, we're going to be doing the guide them both challenge. So, uh, you're just going to be using L2 to steer a rocket, but you use your right analog to steer. So you start with a stationary, moving on to a moving target, and then a target that shoots back. 
because you want to go at it straight and then turn and then go straight at it again before you get the chance to shoot off another bullet. There's your S rank at 13 seconds. I can tell you A is 15, so you don't have too much room between that. Uh, S would be either 13 or 14 for the cutoff. Challenge 12 is use your head. You're basically just ramming asteroids with your ship. And don't forget you have boost to make things easier. And now you have to destroy 10 asteroids as fast as you can. Oh no, this might cost me. We'll see screwed up the end a little bit, but make sure you rush back to the middle after you do the 10 asteroids. Uh, I'll 26. Uh, I know 31 is an A. Not too sure where the S cutoff is, but there you go. Challenge 13 is drive test number 4, where you're basically just hopping from checkpoint to checkpoint in an asteroid field. If you're gonna hit something, hit the asteroids as opposed to the bluish, weird looking things. As uh, the blue things will wreck you. And there's your S rank for 20 seconds. Challenge 14 is Tesla would be proud, where you have to kill a certain number of enemies and then survive for a certain amount of time. So I'm going to do my best to stay a little bit out of range of these guys so they're not rubbing against you the whole time. And that's just so I'm not taking contact damage at all times. left and now I have 15 seconds that I need to survive so I want to stay away from the guys that are going to be firing at me and then get worked out S rank for 102. Welcome to challenge 15, holes that matter. And don't laugh like a teenager or something. So you just gotta curve your shots. not as easy as I'm making it look. But uh, just take some practice, you gotta hit him pretty well to get S rank. But uh, yeah, mine was 9 seconds and I got S rank, so that's how you do it, just take some practice. Challenge 16 is Sci-Fi Sword.
so I'm going to use a sword and kill stuff. You're not allowed to move, so you just have to use the sword to protect yourself. Just keep swinging your sword back and forth and you'll hit this bud. This one only took me one try, and I got an S rank on the first try, so I don't think this challenge is very difficult. Thank you. 